the Bearcats. And let's take a look at it. Here's the opening kickoff, Dave. And this has been an outstanding segment of your football team. Well, you start the game off with a lot of pride, and you make a tackle on the 11-yard line. Here's Gerald Ware hustling down, making a big hit. Tom Zabotis was in on that also. This is uh, John Sawyer coming up, holding them for a short gain on a completion. Once again, our defense is on the field and playing hard. And while they may catch a few, uh, there's an incomplete. Again, John Sawyer. We're back on offense now. That's uh, Reggie Tater. We had a triple team there on their nose guard, Mike Ruth. The second play is a boot. Here Dan goes up top, and uh, we go after a big play here. Jason Stargell incomplete. Now we come back uh, with BC on offense. Here's a quick screen. And uh, again, we're running to the ball. That's a freshman Chris Asbeck making a, uh, a tackle there. Here's a break for you oh, right here. Oh, great play. Delano Kelly coming through. Yeah, big play in our kicking game. Uh, Zabotis is down there. Uh, Terry Archer, big plays. We're back on offense. Here McCoy pitches to Taylor. Watch the little guy scamper in there, breaking two tackles. Uh, this was a big series for us. Here again is Taylor to the right side, and he's down to the one. Now we are on the one-yard line, and they call us for lining up off sides. I'm not sure I've ever <laughs> seen that, uh, but it did frustrate us. That's a terrible place to have a, a penalty. McCoy now comes back. Here's the uh, Al McKinney on a halfback pass. We almost catch the ball. That's Arnez Perry. But we do take the field goal. Defense gave us the ball in field position. We come away with three points. Have to be feeling pretty good at this point. Boston College uh, really looking for a victory. And their offense, uh, you pretty well shut down in the first half. Well, they go up top here and uh, get a big play. Again, that's John Sawyer. They've got a big explosion uh, with that quarterback. Here they go around the left end, and uh, Catchings is uh, making a big hit there. I think that's J.H. Caldwell recovering a fum fumble, and Vince Carricker stripped the ball loose. Another big turnover. turnover. Second. Uh, McCoy back to pass. Again, this is incompletion to Greg Latham. Danny was a little nervous early, but boy, did he come back and play uh, well for us. Here's another screen. Look at the people running to the ball here. Now, he may be downfield, but he feels that tackle. That's again, uh, Richard Rhodes, our strong safety, makes a big hit. Uh, here's a great play by, again, Vince Carricker in the end zone. Uh, he had great recovery here to knock the ball loose. Boston College back to pass again. They certainly did enough of this. Almost Alex Gordon just <laughs> died when he didn't catch this one. Once again, Boston College back on offense. We've got a lot of defensive highlights because what a day it was for our defense. Again, he catches the ball, but three people on him immediately. And uh, we wanted to gang tackle and make them feel it yesterday. And here's a good effort. Again, Gerald Ware all the way from the backside. Good pressure again on the quarterback. That's something you Look had to do. Look at that tackle, yes. Brad Notacker knocks the ball loose. And Alex Gordon makes a big play on a turnover. Gives the ball to UC, and again, McCoy goes to work. He's dropped it back, and look at this to Jason Stargell up top. Jason almost kicks free, but this is a big play. First down for us on the 25-yard line. We do get held, and Baroni goes after a field goal, misses it wide to the right, and this kind of hurt a little bit. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we felt like the defense was turning, getting the turnovers for us. Here they go around the right end. He scoots up field pretty good, and uh, that's Richard Rhodes driving him out of bounds. Look at the goal line down here. Once again, that's Alex Gordon making a big hit. John Sawyer helping out. And they have to settle for a field goal. Brad, I might remind all of us that we've had great defensive efforts down inside the uh, five-yard line. And uh, what an effort by our defense. Three consecutive games with great goal line stands. Here's Joe Heiss making a big catch on a hookup. That's McCoy to Heiss. Our offensive line coming off the ball here. This is a sweep. Uh, we missed two blocks, and uh, they game tackle us pretty good. Uh, Boston College was the biggest football team physically we'd seen this year. Here's their quarterback back to pass, John Sawyer. John looks like he wants to score here. He reverses his field and goes backside. The junior college transfer is going to learn not to cut back too much, but what a game he has played and what a season he's, he's had. Another big turnover for you sets you up. Look at this catch here, and that's freshman Joe Heiss. Breaks the tackle, almost goes all the way. We get a face mask called, and now the ball's down with Reggie Taylor. Look at Reggie going up the middle. I might add Nick Godovac put away uh, their big defensive tackle there. Uh, Rich Childers, they just doubled him up. That's a quarterback sneak after an All-American defensive lineman. 
kind of held him in check, though, back. Uh, he had only four tackles, Mike Ruth, yesterday. Well, our offensive line just played exceptional. And as has our defense, there's Tony Ketchings knocking the ball loose. You see a lot of black shirts flying around the field here. They may catch a few, but when they do, they know where they are. Look at that. That's three, four people right around the ball. Again, uh, Holleran's back to pass. He gets a little time here. Let's one, and that's an incomplete pass. Good coverage. Dan McCoy puts his knee down, and we go in at halftime to talk about the importance of the second half. Indeed, it was a great second half for you, too, as we'll get to you in a moment on that. But this game was kind of like Temple. You had some scoring opportunities. The defense was playing extremely well, yet uh, you're only up by seven points. Well, we, we had some big turnovers for us. I thought offensively we missed on three third down situations we should have executed. But again, with the defense playing so hard and regrouping at halftime and ready to go out for a big second half. You had to feel confident offensively, though, because you were moving the ball on BC. I think our players believe they can move the football, yes. Indeed. It was a great second half, as we'll see in just a couple of moments when we return after these messages. Cincinnati leads at the intermission 10 to 3, and as we are about to see, the Bearcats go to work offensively in the third quarter, Dave, and it was a great third quarter for Danny McCoy and the Bearcats offensively, as we see. We do start uh, our third quarter off with a fine drive, and as we'll see here on uh, the highlights, uh, McCoy starts the ball uh, coming out, throwing right away. There's a fine reception to Greg Latham, and Greg has uh, made some big catches for us, especially in the second half. McCoyne back to throw, and it's Robert Williams in the flat. Robert has played exceptionally well the last two weeks. Here's Stargell in motion to the left. McCoyne hits again. Greg Latham into the end zone for a big, big touchdown. Uh, Reggie Taylor picked up a big blitz there. As their offensive line, you notice McCoyne has a lot of time to throw. That's those big hogs up front. They did a great job, uh, both interior lines. That's Nick Godovac, a big sack. Uh, Nick Frank was, he made a big sack there. <laughs> I got both Knicks going, playing awfully well Saturday. And yes. there's a scramble here, and ouch, no tacker puts a, a ring on that quarterback. He doesn't want to run too much after that. There's three consecutive good defensive plays. Tony catching, what a great play. Tony was mad on Wednesday, and I think he stayed that way all the way through the game. <laughs> Here's a fake punt, and uh, again, a big play. Uh, good coverage here by Vince Carriker. Get the ball back and go right to work offensively. Well, this is a big hook, hook up to Joe Heiss. Uh, uh, McCoy uh, booting to his left. Again, uh, Reggie Taylor. Ah, fake reverse and watch Reggie scamper. This is an exciting football play, and this little guy just makes such a contribution to a football team. McCoy under the center now. We're going back for a pass. Here's a pump, and watch this catch. Great leap. Rosie Mukes takes the ball away from the defender. Big touchdown. That's quite a cushion at that point against a good Boston College team, 24 to 3. Well, defensively, we're back on the field again, hustling and running. Once again, they hook up, but we've got three. Watch that tackle. Oh, Tony catching what a great tackle. <laughs> Best hit of the day right there. Here's a counter play. They get it around the corner, and they go down, and uh, uh, Rhodes makes a big hit, slowing them down a little bit. But Boston College is moving the ball. There's Gerald Ware coming from the outside. Here's a hookup here. That's Alex Gordon. Good open field tackle. Holleran again back to pass. Steps up here. And again, he finds a receiver, Brad Notacker. Brad played so well at the middle linebacker spot. I might add here as uh, we look at this, that's the first touchdown scored on us in eight quarters, two ball games. And uh, we played well again defensively. They got a touchdown here, but now we've got to go back to work. McCoy again drops back. We get a holding penalty here. This is a hookup to Robert Williams, but it moves us back in red. Uh, now we make two crucial mistakes, and we are forced to punt, put the defense back in the field. The defense certainly has risen to every opportunity it has. It's forced turnovers, and here's another nice play by Ketchings. Ketchings makes a sack from the backside on a blitz, and uh, what an effort again. We're back on offense now, uh, trying to get something going. This is Al McKinney running a quick screen to the right side. Again, motion to the left, and McCoy is back to pass. Throws it to Greg Latham, and they, uh, uh, that was a good call by the official. I didn't like it, and it, it looks <laughs> a lot better on camera. Here's a flush. This broke our back a little bit because Ketching's running all over the field. 
And uh, they hook up here and send it down to about the 10 yard line. At this point, the game is still very much anybody. It's 24 to 10 and a whole lot of time left. Well, here they score a touchdown. Watch this. Andre Jackson gets a great hit on him and he earned that touchdown. But Boston College is back in the game now. You're not conservative with the football either. Well, we worked all week on big plays. Here's Reggie running left. But as you'll see as we come up, we set up a big play and we just didn't execute it as well as we should. But McCoy here goes to his left, finds Joe Heiss wide open down the sideline and doesn't get it in there. And that really uh, hurts when you can't execute those big plays. Well, that was a bold play too, uh, considering the time of the game. You want to get to put people away now where the defense is back on the field. I might add that that's a linebacker, no tacker, that's a defensive lineman uh, and a safety making a hit. Uh, watch this effort. Here he is. Another defensive back, Gerald Ware, who was responsible well, along with Steve Howard. Steve Howard made the big sack, and that put them back in the, their backyard. And here, Robert Williams just banging up front, and we're putting them away now. Big, big victory for the Bearcats, and uh, what a fine effort by both sides of the ball, and particularly both offense and defensive lines. Well, after the game, we had an opportunity to talk to some of the players, and they were undoubtedly pleased as well as the Bearcats win by seven.